Okay. I'm Brett. Welcome to Royal K Farm. Hi, I'm a first guy. Um, <laughs> Hi, I'm Mariel. Hi, I'm Ryan. Um, yeah, so we uh, own and operate a farrow to wean operation just outside of Arthur, Ontario. Uh, we sell three week old wiener pigs to a wean to finish farm uh, in Denfield, Ontario, owned by the Van Duren family. Uh, we're just going to give you a quick tour of the uh, new barn we built last year. Um, okay, we're going to start our tour in the farrowing barn. Uh, we have two rooms in our farrowing barn. We uh, wean pigs every other week. Uh, so these are the younger pigs in this room. I'm gonna find some that were uh, that are just about a day old to show you. Here we got a, a litter of day old pigs just nursing here right now. Um, yeah, so a little bit about the. Uh, Yes, uh, the crate, first of all, uh, we call this area here where the piglets lie the creep area and this would be the farrowing crate where the sow is. So the reason we keep the sow in the farrowing crate is uh, number one to protect the pigs from the sow. Uh, sows are quite a bit bigger than piglets so uh, they can actually sit on them and crush them by accident. So this, uh, this bar here is called the crush bar. When she sits down it just kind of slows her uh, slows her down a bit, and uh, this finger bar here still gives the piglets kind of good access to the udder, but keeps the sow sort of from moving over uh, too far and rolling over on top of them. Uh, I guess another little fun fact while these guys are here nursing is that uh, piglets all use the same teat every time. So uh, for the whole three week period that they're on the sow nursing, they always use the same teat. All right, let's uh, let's go into our other room and look at some older pigs. You can see how much they grow. Okay, I'm here in the second room now with some older pigs. Uh, these pigs here are about 17 days old, so they'll be getting shipped uh, in three days, I guess. Uh, so when we remove the pigs from the sow, we call that weaning the sow. And uh, the same day the pigs are weaned, they go on a truck, and like I said, they go down to uh, Elsa Craig to the wean to finish farm. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. You can see they've, they've grown quite a bit in the first two and a half weeks of their life. Uh, just a few more things about the, the piglets and the sow's environment here that I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, this is a heated pad here. Uh, the temperature the piglets are comfortable at is quite a bit warmer than the temperature the sow is comfortable at. So there's just hot water running through these pads. Uh, it creates sort of a warm microclimate for the piglets. You can see a couple of them are taking advantage of it there. Uh, they don't need it quite so much once they get to be this size, but uh, when they're younger, it's pretty important. Uh, this is sow's water here, sort of a, a bowl style water, a pretty decent flow. Uh, sows need to drink a lot of water when they're nursing because they do produce quite a bit of milk. Uh, they also, at this stage, they're eating uh, basically as much feed as they want. So this feeder, it's just a, a hopper style feeder that uh, gets filled up once a day and then that's more than enough feed for the sow to last 24 hours. And you can see here, she just sort of peels the feed off that shelf with her mouth. And uh, yeah, that's how she eats. All right, why don't we uh, go have a look in the dry sow barns? Okay, we're here in the breeding barn right now. Uh, all the breeding is done uh, artificially. Uh, so basically when the sows are weaned, uh, they get moved over here. That's why all these stalls are empty. Uh, ideally, uh, five days after they're weaned, they come in heat and we can uh, breed them. Here we've just got some, uh, some open gelts and pens that we're trying to get bred to. Uh, gelt is a young female sow. And then these are just some, some open sows here that uh, they were just not coming in heat, uh, getting bred with the, the rest of them on time, so we're just trying to fit them in with another group if we can. Okay, 
So once the sows are bred, they get moved into this barn over here into a dry sow stall. Uh, they'll stay in these dry sow stalls for about a month, uh, then they'll get preg checked and moved into a large group pen. The uh, reason we keep them in the stall is for the first month, uh, they're just a little aggressive uh, right after mating and uh, it's, it's sort of a critical time for their pregnancy. Uh, if, you know, if they fight too much in that first uh, couple weeks, they can lose the pregnancy quite easily. Uh, so we put them in here and then move them into the big group pen. Okay, we're here in the new dry sow barn. So these uh, these sows are housed in pens, uh, about 65 sows to a pen. So the after they spend the uh, their bread in a stall, uh, they spend about a month in the stall, and then once their pregnancy has been confirmed, they get moved in here. So these guys, they had their feed a few hours ago, so they're just kind of resting now. And we can go. Uh, we can go ahead and walk into the pen with them. They might get a bit startled when I first come in there, but before long they'll be uh, up to and on our legs, probably. Yeah, this uh, this barn is floor fed. So basically, these uh, feed drops here they fill up with feed uh, twice a day and drop it on the floor automatically and then refill. So uh, we like to make sure we're around uh, at least one of those times to walk through the barn, make sure everyone's up eating and everything. But, uh, if the system's working right, it more or less uh, sort of takes care of itself. Now we've got a few visitors here. These sows here are due in uh, about two weeks, I think. Two or three weeks. In one of our dry sow barns here now, this was actually uh, our fairing barn. Uh, we just renovated it into a dry sow barn uh, last year when we built the new fairing barn. Uh, so we've got some bred gelts in here, as well as some uh, sort of younger sows that are bred. Uh, yeah, just a sort of a similar layout uh, as uh, our new dry sow barn. Uh, little smaller pens similar feeding system. Got about uh, tw 25 sows to a pen here. That's pretty much what you see in here. And a quick uh, walk down to our old barn, uh, old bank barn. We've got uh, gilts down here. We do uh, breed quite a few of the gilts down here as well. Not quite as shiny uh, and bright as the new barn, but it still does the job. Okay, well, I hope you uh, enjoyed the tour of our barn, and uh, yeah, stay safe.